Alrighty, today we have our deck profile of our Darkest Chaos and our Arless deck here today. So let's go on ahead and get into the deck profile. Hello, because it's Briar626 here, and today we have a deck profile here of the Darkest and Chaos deck, of course. Um, and uh, we're going to be doing this video here because we just did a battle video with this exact deck against a Mono Aquas deck uh, in the previous two videos. If you want to go see those videos, go ahead and click that card right up there in that right hand corner so you guys can see those videos. Now, this is the deck. It's actually one of my favorites so far. The Mono Darkness was my favorite deck. Now, this one's become one of my favorites now um, just because of how much power it has behind it. Um, now there of course is some still a little tweaking to go on and off in this deck, but as of right now, it's really, really good here. Of course, we're using the Darkest Nilius Ultra uh, for two orange shields, 200 B power, six damage, and if you land on orange shield, plus 400. And the shields you pretty much run are going to be 300, so you're going to be at 900 B power and six damage when you get it open. It, it's amazing right there. And then of course we have Nilius here, uh, Arliss version, the core. Uh, Orange Shield, Green Fist, 505 damage. Of course, these two cores we're using is the uh, Orange minus 300 and the Green plus 150 plus 2. Um, of course, you have mostly all shields in here to help get these two guys up. The Green Fist kind of is a eh, but it helps get your damage up if you need to. Then we have Serpentis Ultra here. Two shields. Uh, this is the Chaos version. 500 B power, one damage. And if you land on a orange shield, plus four damage. So it's going to help you get that damage boost on them. And of course, you run five shields. So you're most likely are going to land on a shield. Um, the only time you wouldn't land on it is if you land on your opponents or you land on your green fist. So you're landing on it a pretty good amount of time. Um, but yeah, so the B power is pretty average. It's a good 500 B power boost. Of course, you get the 300 to boost them up to 800 or 900. Um, the damage is pretty good as well, 5, 5, and 6. Now that's 5 when you land on the, sh the shield. Um, so it's it's good either way. I mean, you're doing some pretty good uh, damage that way. So we're going ahead and move um, these guys out of the way. Move this up a little bit here. And move the cores out of the way here. Um, let's go ahead and look at our Evo cards. Um, so we are running two Hyper and Nilius here, the Arliss faction here. Um, for three energies, 800 B power, eight damage, and if you discard this card, play it for free. Um, this deck, I will say, is very similar to my Mono Darkest deck. It just has Chaos in there to help get that B power boost, basically, is what it's in here for. Um, so you'll see a lot of cards repeating itself, and some cards that I've taken out and switched out. So yeah. Um, of course, Ultra Nilius doesn't have anything, only Hyper Nilius. And then we have... Um, Hyper Serpentis Ultra, 2 energy, 700 B power, 7 damage. If you land an orange shield, you get 7 damage plus onto it. So it makes it 10 damage. And if you land an orange shield, which most likely you're landing on that one, 1000 B power and 10 damage. So you're getting up there pretty good for 10 energy or 2 energies as well. So you're going to get pretty high up there. Um, you pretty much pull this off turn two, you're, you're good. You're pretty much solid right there. All right, so those are the Evo cards, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and move these guys out of the way here. Uh, and we're gonna look at the rest of the cards here as well. So our action cards here. So here are the action cards for zero energies. We play two Shade Blade. Now two Shade Blade is pretty decent here for zero energies plus two damage. It's a pretty good card uh, to use uh, going into trying to get some damage adding onto it, especially turn one. If you're doing, uh, what is it, turn uh, one hyper or Nilius here, um, the Nilius Ultra, you get six damage, now it's at eight for turn one. It's pretty good, so yeah. Then we run for our one energies, we run uh, Prismatic Shield uh, for one energy, 200 B power, uh, just add it onto it. it. It's gonna get you a B power boost. You gotta run this if you're gonna be doing some type of B power boost. You gotta run it here. Um, then of course we run three copies of Chaotic Darkest Darkness. Uh, one energy. Choose a player to discard a card. You could choose a disc. You could discard a card, or your opponent could discard a card. Whichever way you want to do it, it, it works whichever way. Um, so which is really good there. Then our next one, one energy cost we have is two Cycling Light here for one energy, 200 B power. Then put this card on the bottom of the deck. Um, so you get 200 B power, good. Then you get an extra life on top of that for one energy. That's 
that's pretty good. I'll take the extra life in case if I need it. Put it on the bottom of the deck. I get 200 B power bonus to it. So for one energy, not too bad. Then we have uh, three super shot. One energy plus 300 B power. Even better than the one energy 200s. Much, much better than that. Now you just get the one, uh, one and three. So it's get, you're trying to get that B power because there's times where you need to win with B power because your damage, you can get damage. Your damage is pretty much good either way. You just need to get the B power boosting on them. Uh, so this is like the reason why I run Hales. Hales has some good high B, B power boosting on uh, their Bahugan and their cards. Um, so yeah, it's just easier to use that or I use Aquas. So I mean, it's either way. I prefer Hales over Aquas a little bit and this type of match um but i mean i would go use aquas if i need to as well um then we ran two tainted touch for our two energy costs two energies sacrificed you may discard a card for seven energies or seven damage instead um so good if you just need to discard a card get some extra damage in stuff like that then we run three lights courage um for two energies four energy power if you have the most cores plus 800 instead so if you go turn one you open you win you at least have one energy added onto them so you can use this turn two which is where you would use it and you're running low on uh damn or b power 800 because you just won the last one last turn so really good card as well getting that high b power so you could win turn two and then turn three if you need to you could drop the second one anything like that it, it, it works really well there then for three energies we have our three shadows coil uh, for four or three energies four damage and if you discard this card play it for free you play cards at discard so you gotta play shadow coil um works out really really well uh trying to get some more damage into you as well then we run uh our last three energy cost card is going to be stone skin for 200 b power uh sacrifice you may discard a card 800 instead you discard cards boom 800 B power. It's pretty good. It's a little weaker than um, a little uh, than Light's Courage, but it's still a strong card nonetheless. Especially when you discard the right card and you have the right cards to discard, it, it works out really, really well. So those are all the action cards there. So we're just going to head and get into our flip cards here. Uh, we run two Cease Outsiders here for 300 to stop a non Darkest Bahugan. Then we run three uh, Holt. Outsiders uh, for three energy stuff a non Chaos Bahugan, and then our last one, uh, which is three Pack of Darkness uh, for four energy stuff a non Darkest Bahugan, but you can sacrifice a card to play it for free. So I mean, you this is just the best stop card. It is the the best, hands down the best. If you don't, if you run Darkest, you have to have Pack of Darkness. If you don't, you're out of luck. You need to run Pack of Darkness in here. It's really, really good there. So those are the flip cards here um, to help get you, of course, to stop the damage and uh, to help get you there as well. Um, and then our hero cards we have is 2C. Now, C, maybe like, well, why C? You don't have all your ball who are not darkest. That's perfectly fine. I don't care. That's not the reason why I'm playing it. It's mainly for the last effect. If you deal 10 or more damage in your attack, you may draw three cards. So you deal 10 damage, you get to draw three cards. Even if they stop at 11, you still dealt them 10. So you get to draw the three cards. Um, so, and then of course you only have the one shadow strike that would go onto him. Not bad, but that helps him, I guess, to reduce. So you don't, if you land on this, it doesn't reduce him, but he gets at 400 as well. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's not terrible um, to have that. It was just mainly in there for the draw factor, and so I can have cards drawing into my hand. It's mainly the real reason why I played C. Then our last card here is, of course, our three China Riots for four energies when, uh, plus one damage to your attacks. Not too bad. And if you discard, you may play it for free. So you discard this card, play it for free. Um, of course, a bunch of cards that discard, like Stone Skin like Tainted Touch, um, Pack of Darkness, all those type of cards, discard a card, and you can play this for free. Um, usually you try to do it with Pack of Darkness um, so that you can go in turn, have this in your hand, pack, boom, next turn you're all set so you don't have to worry about wasting another energy and you can do whatever you need to. So it that works better with that. Um, of course, you could do it with Stone Skin, Tainted Touch to get that extra energy if you need to. 
but you mainly want to try to use it with Pack of Darkness. Is the mainly the biggest reason. So yeah, so that is the deck here. I know it was a little quicker than a lot of the other ones, um, but mostly because it was like the same one uh, as the other one. Just some card changes in there. Um, from some hey, darkest to uh, hey us cards. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure you click that like button down below. And if you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button and become a cousin in our family. And make sure you click that bell icon so you guys get notified of when I upload videos just like this one here. Because we have another deck profile here of the Mono Aquas deck here uh, in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you click that bell so you get notified of when that one comes up. And remember, Ohana means family. And family means don't get stuff behind or forgotten. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.